What's up everybody? I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer and as always I am late here to do a recap of the month of July. Sorry if you do not get any posters or anything like this. I'm working off of a brand new MacBook Pro and as you can tell the video quality and all this stuff is very very clear. I like it. Um, it's for school so I do not have anything, so I can't do none of that right now. And I do not know when I will get that stuff because I haven't gone down yet. Um, but that's another thing. But we'll get to that later. We'll just talk about that later. Um, but I'm here to month recap the month of July, and I'm just going to wing this. So let's go. First movie I saw in the month of July is one of my favorite movies of the month of July, and one of my favorite movies of the year so far, and that is The Amazing Spider-Man. I absolutely loved this film. It had its problems. But I really loved it. It was nice to see my favorite superheroes swinging in action. So that was really cool. Um, Andrew Garfield was great. Emma Stone was great. Everything about the film was great. It just had a couple of marketing campaigns and just, you know, some issues. But for the most part, very good movie. I was very happy with it. Um, another film I saw, uh, I did not review, so I'm going to do a little quick review for it now, uh, was Ice Age Continental Drift, and this is also going to be the worst film of the month of July, I'm just going to go ahead and say that, because I did not like this film at all. I liked one and two of the Ice Age series, but I did not like three, and I definitely do not like four. Four is by far the worst, and it's very, very pointless. It has no reason. The voiceovers really, really annoyed me in this film. Nicki Minaj is in this film, but she, while well, she's not really in this film, I didn't, but they marketed her in the trailer for being a voiceover in this film, which I thought was absolutely stupid, but they've done it a million times before. But I really hope this is the last one, but I think it did really well at the box office. So that's not good. That's not good. But literally, I just, I hated a lot of things about this film. The animation was really annoying. The 3D was really annoying. It was just very, just sort of generic. It was very generic 3D. Um, so yeah, that was that. Uh, but, 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 there has to be... There was also, uh, there has to be the award for best film of the month of July, and that is, of course, The Dark Knight Rises. Oh my god, this film was phenomenal. I've seen it, I've only seen it three times so far. I like to see it a fourth time before I leave, but I've only seen it three times so far. And both, first was at a marathon, the second was in IMAX, and the third was just at my normal theater. Um, so both, all three times, they've all been good, and I've gotten so, in, I just love this film. It's just a perfect conclusion. This film is just absolutely flawless. It's flawless, 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 flawless. Just absolutely great, and I'm so glad that for my birthday, which was July 27th, I chose to see this in IMAX over seeing The Watch, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, but yes, the Dark Knight Rises, it was just, it was so epic, you guys, and I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, woo, I don't know what I'm doing, but, um, yeah, uh, as you can tell, I'm really, really winging this thing, um, but yeah, uh, um, what else was I gonna say, uh, yes, but this movie, I'm really gone, this movie was just fantastic, it was so fantastic, so fantastic, so fantastic, and I'm moving on. Like I said earlier, The Watch was another movie I saw, and I do not know what the crap this film was. I did not check the Rotten Tomato score on this film, and I'm glad I didn't because I do not hate it as much as a lot of people did. But this film was very hard to decipher. I do not know what type of film this was. I went and saw it with a group of friends. Um... And we had a lot of fun laughing at the movie than exactly with the movie. So, therefore, I guess that's why I, I don't hate it as much. But, overall, this film is not good. It's got a lot of penis jokes, a lot of other type stuff. It does have a couple of funny moments. An orgy sequence, was I thought, was absolutely funny. But, for the most part, it's it's just it's penis joke at the penis joke at the penis joke. And it's just, it's just it's overwhelming. It's just it's too much. Um, it's fairly stupid and silly and uh, but now let's talk about the month of 
August. Uh, there's a lot of films coming in the month of August. Uh, take, for instance, Total Recall, a film that I've seen. I like Total Recall. I didn't love Total Recall, but I do plan on doing a review. It'll probably be like this. But I plan on doing a review for it. Um, another film is The Born Legacy. I have not seen it yet. It's out now. I will be seeing it Friday. I leave Saturday, so hopefully I'll do another quick review for it on Friday for that. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. The Expendables 2 comes out. I haven't even seen the first Expendables. I totally forgot about this film so much that I forgot to put it in my summer movies tribute thing. But, uh, I mean, who knows? I need to see the first one before I go see this film. Because I still haven't seen the first one. Um, the Our Life of Timothy Green comes out basically that same week. But it comes out on Wednesday, which is tomorrow as, as I'm recording this. Uh, I want to see that. I do want to see that. I'm kind of a sucker for these, like, heartfelt Disney movies. So, that could be good. Um, another, what else? What else is coming out? i got to cheat here. i got to cheat here. I am totally unprepared. Paranorman. Paranorman comes in. I do want to see Paranorman. Paranorman looks good. Um, uh, let's see here. We had the campaign. I haven't seen the campaign. I do want to see the campaign because I think it was filmed in North Carolina, which is where I live. I don't know. I saw North Carolina in the film trailer, so. But, yeah, I want to see that. Um, now, August 24th, we have... Premium Rush. Now, I do really want to see Premium Rush. I think Premium Rush looks really good. I do want to see that. I also want to see The Apparition, even though I do not think it's going to be good. But who knows? It's a horror film, finally, and I want to see that. Now, August 31st, that is my most anticipated movie of the month of August, and that is The Possession. I am so excited for this film. I love Sam Raimi, and I want to see anything Sam Raimi does because I love Sam Raimi. Even though he's not directing this film, I still want to see it because it's Sam Freaking Raimi. This film looks awesome. It looks really, really scary. And I think this film is going to deliver. So, yes, I want to see that film. Um, another thing is, is I know I'm trying to I'm trying to wrap this up. Because right now it says I'm recording like seven minutes. Um, but, and that's too long for me. Uh, another thing I want to see. Uh, another thing is to see I'm going to school. So, get you want to take a moment to like look at it? Yeah, you won't be seeing that much longer. Matter of fact, I moved this Saturday. So, you won't be seeing that for much longer. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, but the room is moving. And as you can tell, a lot of my stuff is already packed. And so, yeah. But I'm going to leave now because I've been rambling and this video has been absolutely awful. But, uh, so, yeah. So, until next time, I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer. And you guys just been slashed.